In this video, we're going to show you how you can quickly check a Max for Live device for compatibility with Push 2 and importantly Push 3 standalone, and even add it if it is missing. I'm going to start with Grainy Day by Aval. I'm going to open the device to edit it. And then when in edit mode, I'm going to click the blue freeze icon to unfreeze it, which creates a copy of the various elements of the device on your hard drive. Move into patching mode and then control or command an F. In there, I'm going to type live banks to find if there is a object and there is one. So I go to next. That will take me to the object. Double click on that. And then I'm presented with all of the mapped parameters which will show up within the banks on the push to and importantly push three standalone screen as you can see you can change them edit them how you wish and even leave blanks changing what the developer has put in there as their best suggestion remember though to freeze the device at the end and then save as and save a copy of that to somewhere within your hard drive that you'll be able to find it I normally recommend putting it within your places within Live's browser. This latency fixer by Elizabeth Homeland, a device that fixes the uh, latency caused when uh, monitoring is off or on. Let's just quickly search live.banks and zero matches. No problem, not a problem at all. So just move anywhere within the patching area, a clear space and double click. It will create a new object type live.banks click away, double click under the name. That's what's going to appear as the bank name. So I'll change that to controls and then all of the available automated and stored parameters, which is a setting on each of the live GUI objects is available for you to put into your bank. Remember as before, freeze, save as. And there you go. Push three standalone compatibility.